Welcome, this is the love reading for the Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. and this is month of August. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Wow, congratulations, you fire sign. Love, new love is coming in. And I see a whole lot of happiness and joy and love the sun. Um, and new love is coming in. This is good. Whatever the regrets was in the past, you're leaving that behind because you're getting over the heartbreak and you are moving forward. So congratulations. Let's see who you're dealing with. Energy of the devil. Whoever was a third party in a relationship is now over a corporation institution. Some divorces are going to be finally. People are going to be getting divorced. Uh, art breaks is over whatever the regrets is that is over some regrets that some of you were dealing with with a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see a total moment is coming down for this cancer whoever this cancer is i see some of you have a new start moving forward because your divorce is not yet over but you have asked for a divorce so that is good now we see the energy um, that some of you were having some issue because of some money financial situation. And I see truths are going to be coming out. Um, I see a whole lot of you um, who are in relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion or an Aries, they are Sagittarius. I see um, some of you who are in a relationship with a Libra. I see this relationship is going to be ending. Um... Uh, I see happiness and joy that some of you um, are sharing um, with a, a new person. Some of you um, is starting a relationship with a cancer. Your divorce is not yet over, but um, this new love comes in. And trust me, it is pulling you off your foot. So I see some of you, um, you realize that you were in a relationship with a Libran, and this Libran was the, um, cheating. Um, I see that you have no more interest in this Libran anymore. I see a tall moment is coming down, and this could affect the, um, the Taurus. People who are in relationship with Geminis or Taurus. I see that could be ending. It could. It is um, divorce. People are asking for divorce or people have asked for divorce. Okay. Um, and um, we see, um, yes, um, a corporation institution came um, down on, um, uh, it's, it, this is definitely a divorce. Um, whoever is divorcing um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion, or an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, I see a definitely a divorce is coming in and is affecting this person. Um, unbelievable. Um, um, I see a corporation really stand their ground um, where this is like um, the, the courts. Um, so if you're divorcing a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, I see the courts really stand their ground against this person. And you guys are going to be coming out of this divorce feeling very happy um, that you really made this decision. I see happiness and joy because new love is definitely going to be coming in. Um, you can see that love's ab um, abounds. New love is definitely going to be coming in. It is going to be a month where you are really feeling um, that your relationship is on the right tracks. Divorce is not going to be finalized in this month, um, but I see that it is whatever issues that was there is going to be clearing up in this month. So let's say that you finally, um, um, a finaliz finalization over what, uh, um, how the assets should be split up uh, um, is going to finally happen. I see a lot of you are happy. A lot of you are happy that you made the step in order um, to get this divorce finished because I see you're moving forward to the love of your life, which is the Aquarian. So a lot of you um, could be, um, was always in love with an Aquarian. You got married to someone else um, and now um, you're divorcing a person and it is finalizing and I see you're making plan in order to move forward um, with an Aquarian. So I see new love is coming um, in for some of 
some of you via the Aquarian. So now there was some sort of an issue. Some of you were in a relationship with a Virgo and there was some sort of an issue um, where there was a, some sort of a heartbreak so, or there was a divorce. Um, there was an horrible divorce settlement and now it is finally over. Um, I see some of you are um, are not interested in your partner anymore because there is someone new. And this person makes you feel good. The energy of the devil is down, down, down. Some of you were dealing with a Pisces, uh, a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man. It's not showing up who this person is, but trust me. Um, yeah, this person was the devil's advocate and um, was the devil's, um, wow, lawyer. And whatever this person has done, um, I see that some of you are, it's not yet finished, but, um, the divorce has been asked for you finally decide, yes, I am ending this relationship, this marriage with this person. This person plays the devil's advocate and, um, whoever this man is, the spicy cancer scorpion, have a lawyer, but I see like the courts are saying, mm, you can come with all your force and might, but I am the judge here and I'm going to make the decision how this is going to be good. So it's a lot of um, issues that is coming up with separation and divorce and, um, you know, horrible divorce that some of you have been fighting with and playing with. I see finally some of you gotten out of uh, some sort of a business arrangement, but it's a business marriage or uh, finally, because um, some of you could have done some sort of a business marriage in order to stay in a country or a land or something like that. However, it is coming up. I see that um, this is going to, this contract is going to be ending because people are going to be finding out. So anyone, this is like a business marriage because if you notice, this woman is not interested in this man. And this is like a business marriage. And I see a corporation institution found out that some of you have done some sort of a business marriage in order to stay, to get some stay in a country or so. And they're going to be finding this out. So if you do some sort of a business marriage, people are going to be finding out and that it was a business marriage. You fire sign. Some sadness um, and heartbreaks. Um, that has transpired where some of you were fighting um, with your husband or your partner. And um, this is going to be over because you realize that there is something much better out there for you. And I see love is going to be coming in in order to show you this. So you be aware um, that there's no need for this relationship. It's as if this relationship is over. And I see some of you or open to new love, okay? And this is going to be good. So um, it is a situation where a lot of you are hoping to new love, um, for new love to come in um, your life, and this is going to be good. Whatever that was transpiring between you um, and a Virgo, that was a really um, issue. Um, with this Virgo and this is the lawyer. I see new love is going to be coming in and I see this um, horrible legal issue that was happening and transpiring is definitely going to be over. A lot of you are going to be finding out that you were married to someone and the, this person was not, um, uh, wasn't honest to you um, in the first place. And I see truths are going to be coming out uh, um, and, and, and it is, um, it is a situation where whoever this person is, I see heartbreak. Some of you are having some heartbreaks with this person because it's as if you realize that this person, um, was never ever in love with you. We have, um, Pisces Cancer. So a lot of you are dealing with water sign, um, energy where, um, you're realizing that whoever this, um, Pisces or Cancer is, um, they were with you, but not for the right reason, okay? It could be um, for sex, it could be for 
for status, it could be for money, um, but you're really, really finding out, especially this cancer, um, you're really going to be finding out that this cancer was not really honest. I see some heartbreaks is going to be coming up for some of you with a Pisces. Then um, Jupiter um, is here and it was in the reverse, but Jupiter and uh, the moon, Jupiter and the moon. So I see that some of you, there was some sort of a happiness in your relationship, happiness in your marriage, uh, and then it just comes to an end. And you're like, what happened? Um, you know, what happened? It's like some of you are just shocked, sitting down there trying, uh, but I thought my marriage or thought my relationship was good. So what happened? What wasn't I seeing um, that is coming up? Then we have Jupiter uh, and this is it. Um, a lot of you could be um, receiving the answer of marriage too. So that is good. Some of you could be just uh, um, going away um, and just getting married on a weekend or just going away and just getting married with your partner. People who you don't even know. Because um, it is what needs to be done. So I see this sort of a thing. That some of you are just out of the blues. It's, it's going to be doing that. Um, definitely a divorce is coming up. But, um, for some of you. Because it's like unexpectedly your husband or your, your wife asks you for a divorce. And you're thinking, what? Uh, I didn't see this coming. Oh, okay. And it's as if some of you spend a whole entire month trying to figure out where this is coming from. And just out of the blues. Okay. Um, whoever is divorcing a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, um, you're definitely going to be successfully um, overcoming what this uh, this um, marriage have done to you, what this relationship have done to you, and you're going to be um, coming out, uh, um, being um, mentally um, rich than you went in this marriage. Um, this marriage has taught some of you a whole lot about uh, um, who you are as a person. Okay, and and um, um, you're going to be realizing how you were tricked and controlled in this marriage or this relationship. And you're going to be freeing yourself and learning to love yourself more in order and healing yourself from this marriage or relationship. That's happening here. Then we have the energy of um, Mars and Cancer. So a lot of you are going to be, yeah, um, just break up um, unexpectedly. Um, people are ending relationships. You can um, see this, uh, that whoever this person is, uh, um, they are no longer, uh, they they no longer have any interest in you. Um, so a lot of breakups is going to be happening. But it's as if breakups happen, but definitely as it is ended, new love comes in. New love just cross your part. New love just move in your light after um, this separation has transpired. Then we have Jupiter and um, uh, and Mercurius. Jupiter and Mercurius has to do with uh, um, um, some uh, in spanning relationship with a um, that is going to be affecting your life like um, unexpectedly. Okay, so um, your um, husband or wife told you, okay, the relationship is over. And then all of a sudden, um, you met someone, you cross part with someone, or you, you went to someone, uh, a friend house to um, talk about um, your relationship over. And then you met someone there. And this is, it's just really um, inspirate to you that okay all of a sudden someone just wants to end a relationship and then you met someone and then you're like oh okay 
So it's as if the universe is taking you out of one situation and bringing love in another way. And this is why you have love abounds and the sun. Now, Pluto, yeah, so there is divorce. Um, the divorce is not yet ended, but I see a lot of divorce is going to be, uh, it's as if people are asking for divorce or separation. So for Latin I to some people are going to be feeling left behind. Some people are going to be feeling as if, uh, well, it hits me. But and but at the end of the month, you're going to be realized, yeah, maybe um, it was the right thing to do. Yeah, maybe this was it. So some of you are dealing with a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is. Um, some of you are dealing with a scorpion and a cancer. And... Um, uh, this uh, scorpion had, uh, um, yeah, for lied you, um, yeah, bring you, and uh, there is a scorpion that is coming in. You got to be aware of the scorpion because the scorpion is coming in with their mouth full of BS, okay? So they have, oh, they, they will tell you what you want to hear. So... Um, be aware of the scorpion. Um, the scorpion is a lover. Um, the scorpion will um make you feel as if um you are um the one. Okay, so it's, 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 it's um he. This is how the scorpion get you um in. But there are other people. Okay, so um the scorpion has played the game and he can play the game very very well. And this is what I advise you, you guys. The best relationship is with your opposite sign or the best relationship is with the air sign because you guys are fire. So you're supposed to connect with the air people. Um, because whoever the scorpion is, is a very, is a lover. Okay, the scorpion know how um, to bring you in their little webs and um, they're good. Some of you are dealing um, with a cancer and I see um, this relationship is coming to an end. I see some of you um, use a lawyer um, and, and, and whoever this lawyer is, uh, is going to be making sure um, that you get what you want. So if you're divorcing a cancer, I see this lawyer is going to be making sure um, that you get what you want because this cancer have been seen an Aquarian for a very long time and it's as if you found this out and this lawyer is going to work with you to make sure that he pays your alimentation he pays for the kids um, he take the kids um, and, and that sort of a thing so I see that some of you are really be um, really going to be getting back at a cancer um, because of uh, him, um, your whole marriage seen this Aquarian, okay? And I see you're coming down and you're asking your lawyer to make sure that uh, um, you hit him with the book um, hard. So, you know, sometimes I, um, it is what people choose to do, but, you know, um, people karmas um, are playing out because whatever is transpiring with you and this cancer, um, they're going to be hitting this cancer with the book very hard. And this cancer have to pay. I see you're going after this cancer for everything. Okay. Um, then I see some of you are Virgo. It's going to unexpectedly end a relationship with some of you. Unexpectedly. Um, and some of you are going to be getting, finally getting over what this Virgo has done. Because this, it was like out of the blue that this Virgo just in this relationship without any question, don't know, and just walk away. And I see um, that you're going to be thinking, okay, all right, mm, okay. I see you're just going to be accepting it um, and not fighting against it, just really realizing um, what has happened and transpiring. And then some of you who ends a relationship with a Virgo is going to be meeting a Libra, like, and, and this Libra is either a police or 
um, work in the legal field of in government, you're going to be meeting this person. So be aware of this. Wow. I love these. Um, this is a new deck I'm using. And this is just so very positive, this deck. So um, let me know what you think about this deck. It is um, a month of love for you guys. Share, share, share these videos. And I will speak to you next time.